Hello everybody, my name is Erika and today I will show you how to make a terrain in Unity 3D. Now, to start you to create a new project, you uh, can do that by going to new project and uh, yeah, that's all. And they will ask you what do you want to import now. If you don't uh, check anything from that list, it's okay because you can do this. Go to import package and you will need for for now you will need a character controller, a skybox. Skyboxes, I mean, I terrain sets and tree creator. Yeah, that's all. And now you go to create a train you go to game object create other and terrain and here it is the terrain yep that's it you if you want to go like this and be able to see and move like this you hit alt and then uh, with your mouse you go like this you go the mouse I suck at explaining things I'm sorry now to make it look like a train you go to this brush here edit texture add texture select and now you just have to find a texture or you you can make your own in Photoshop but for now I will, will use this because I'm lazy I'm just lazy and um, just enter to, to the size because I find that this looks nice and acceptable hit add and now you have this it should look like this now to be able to move on this terrain you just drag and drop the first person controller on the scene but, but make sure you go here and drag this up because it will fall right through this now let's see uh, you can see much because uh, I don't have a light source but that's okay for now but now we will put some trees here tree creator tree you will find here a tree now drag and drop this in the scene like this and what you will have to do if you leave it like this and then paint all the terrain with this tree you will see that you can go through the tree and you don't want that you want to have a collider now this with the mesh collider and paint it, uh, it doesn't really work I found out that it don't work now go to physics and capsule capsule I don't know how to pronounce that I'm sorry collider and scale this down so that it will wrap around the tree Now let's see if it works. I mean, it should work. It works. Yep. And we are happy. I am happy. I mean, I am happy. Uh, go to create prefab. 
name it as you want I will name it call from collider and tree very original Erika uh, now you just have to drag and drop this big tree from here to here and you're done almost done now what you want to do is um, uh, go to this you go to edit tree here and this will pop up and uh, drag and drop this uh, tree file that you just made here and hit add now you can see your trees right there now make the brush size I mean it should work you paint on these trees like this here now let's see if it works after we painted all these trees on see you collide with each and every tree here isn't this awesome I mean whoops yes it is awesome I just thought that for a second that it you don't collide with them but I think it's okay it looks pretty fine and now uh, so you can go here add texture add and select uh, grass and rocks so you to to so you can paint on here uh, oops sorry select this don't do like me a road like come this way and you will be scared and scarred for life and you will shake you can now you can also go here hit this button and you can watch out for the brush size you can make this kind of mountains or what do you like to call this so that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed and next time i will uh, show you how to make it feel more like dark and scary and uh, make you shake if you go through the forest and at the sky and uh, really creepy sounds and um, all that good stuff I hope you will come back and watch my next episode and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!